It was at East Metro High School graduation party that turned into a nightmare. A 14-year-old shot and killed in Woodbury. Four people ultimately arrested and charged, including the victim's stepfather. Now, more than two years later, a jury will have to decide whether to convict one of the gunmen on murder charges, even if that gunman did not fire the fatal shot. Let's go out to the Washington County Courthouse in Stillwater, where Paul Bloom is there. Paul, this has been an emotional trial. It sure has, Randy. You know, I think a lot of our viewers will recall the tragic murder of this 14-year-old Damaris Hobbs Ekdahl. Remember, he was a freshman football player at Tartan High School. His death continues to reverberate uh, across uh, the communities of the Southeast Metro. As you mentioned, one of the gunmen currently on a trial, 20-year-old Xavier Hudson. He told the court today he does not want to testify in his own defense. The jury expected to weigh his faith as soon as tomorrow. They killed my brother. That's what I saw. He said his last words to us. The deadly grad party shooting June 2021 shattered a family as well as the greater Tartan High School community. He's a good kid. He didn't deserve it. He wasn't in the streets. He wasn't a gang member. He didn't do nothing wrong. Damaris Hobbs Ekdahl was killed in a hail of gunfire. The consequences still being felt more than two years later. According to authorities, the trio of Jaden Townsend, Enrique Davila, and Xavier Hudson were messing with Damaris and his brother at the party on Edgewood Road in Woodbury. The siblings laughed and called their stepdad, Keith Dawson, who would eventually drive through the block, firing at the group who hassled the boys. We should have to take all this back from our cage. Dawson ultimately pleaded guilty to drive-by shooting and was sentenced to seven years in prison. Xavier Hudson and Enrique Davila would quickly return fire that night with Damaris struck in a fleeing vehicle that was trailing his stepdads. He was leaving the scene, and they shot the car up. And he told his older brother, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. Prosecutors have charged Hudson with aiding and abetting second-degree murder and other lesser counts for his actions. He has been on trial at the Washington County Courthouse over the last week. While ballistic evidence and witness testimony has found he fired in response to Dawson's initial drive-by, it is believed the fatal round came from a firearm Davila was shooting. It's expected the case against Hudson will go to the jury Thursday. Davila's trial is scheduled for December. And that third member of this group that allegedly instigated all of this trouble at that graduation party two plus years ago, Jaden Townsend, interesting to point out, he was already convicted on a lesser assault charge and was sentenced to 36 months in prison. But he's now out. He served his time. He showed up here at Hudson's trial this week and had to be escorted out of the courtroom by security. Reporting from Stillwater, Paul Bloom, Fox 9.